Okay, hello minis. We're really excited to have this video for everyone. Thank you so much for being flexible and going to a video meeting. I know that we were really excited to see all of you and just couldn't do it this one time. So um, you can also share this video because it's going to be on um, YouTube. So, and hopefully you'll just be able to listen to us in one and a half speed. So get it done really fast. It'd be great. In the comfort of your own bed. Yes, or your car, <laughs> or, car. or whatever you want to do. Okay, so my name is Kristen Perry, and this is Morgan Perry. And um, I'm the director of the entire academy, and so um, kind of overseeing the minis, but also um, directing Peter Pan Kids and Spam a lot. So it's really exciting. And here we are in the academy with our lovely office. And it has a Halloween bowl. Yes, right there outside the shop. <laughs> so anyway, um, we're really excited to welcome you to the minis program. And Morgan is our director of the minis program and also is... What do we call you? Owner of the whole theater? Sure. <laughs> the one who takes all the risks. <laughs> yes. So <laughs> we're the risk takers. The risk the takers. Title. So um, anyway, we're really excited to get going on minis. Next week is going to be your first um, in-person rehearsal. So we're going to talk about uh, just some of the general things about minis for a second. Um, that is a little bit more housekeeping stuff. So next week you're going to start at rehearsal. It's on Wednesdays from 4.30 to 6. Hopefully you have that already. Um, and we're doing Peter Pan. We're doing a shortened version of Peter Pan, about 15, 20 minutes. And Morgan will talk to you about that in just a second. Um, and it will be a pre-show to our kids' performance. And there's a little bit um, up-to-date um, information about that. So if you've done minis, make sure to listen to this entire thing because some things have changed. Um, we also have the option of going to a Thursday um, rehearsal as well. And so you're going to be asked on your audition form whether Wednesday works for you better or Thursday. So um, let us know what you'd like. And then, um, so we have two facilities to, for those of you who are new. We have our theater, obviously the Ziegfeld Theater is where we perform, but we do all of our rehearsals here at the Academy. And so um, make sure you know uh, which is which. Some of your, some people are like, oh, there's an Academy. Um, our rehearsals are gonna be at the Academy until right before the shows. So we will let you know when we're gonna move over to the theater. Um, but the Academy um, is super busy on a Wednesday, so I'm just letting you know that. We have our homeschool classes all the way till 3.30, and then we have our cleaner come in, and she is working to clean the facility in that hour. So um, when you come in, we definitely will go upstairs. It's, we are going to be rehearsing in Studios 4 and 5, which is upstairs in our building. Um, but we can't move up into that um, space until it's nice and clean. So if you come a little bit early, go ahead and have a seat in the lobby um, and just chill. And then we'll be invited to go upstairs when it's ready. So I just wanted to let everybody know that thing, just housekeeping. Um, for rehearsal, make sure to bring the things that your director wants. Definitely a water bottle is really important. Um, we do have a drinking fountain that can fill it, or our sink is drinking water as well. So um, whatever you would like, but a water bottle that's clearly marked with their name or your last name. And I, I know that sometimes we rely on our kids to recognize their water bottle, which I'm sure all of your kids can recognize it. But it's very helpful for us to know to who to give it back to. Um, I do this with the teenagers too, because we have piles of water bottles when we take them to um to the di or sometimes we just throw them away and they're nice and expensive water bottles but we don't know who they belong to so there you go um so bring that to class and then if they can also get their show shoes we're going to talk about that in a minute but um if they can get their show shoes sooner rather than later then they can start changing their shoes and making them feel like they're at class and so they wear their show shoes and it's really super cute. So, and we'll talk about what those are. Okay, um, coming up, we're gonna talk about, um, hopefully all of you have enrolled. If you haven't, you were waiting for this meeting to determine whether you're going to enroll. Um, there's going to be an email that goes out to the people that are enrolled. So make that decision and enroll today or tomorrow. Um, we will send you um, the enrollment materials um, 
And just a note, it's not an automatic email that goes right after you enroll. Um, so we're just gonna, we just check it in the evening and then send it to the people who've enrolled that day. So you don't need to worry that you haven't gotten an immediate response back. Um, but you will get these audition materials upon enrollment. Okay, um, you will have three amounts taken. Um, uh, as far as payment, you'll have three amounts taken over the course of the, of the, process right um, we're almost to the end of January and so we'll we'll probably charge your cards right after our or right before the first um, the first rehearsal so around that time and then it's also taken in February and then March but you don't perform until April so there's not a fourth payment taken just wanted to let you know um, and then I think we'll move into our really fun like what's unique to our minis but um, you're just rehearsing once a week and then um, you'll be performing with a certain cast um, and you'll your performance dates will be determined after um, we cast the show so the actual specific dates are um, going to be um, given to you right after the show so or after sorry after casting <laughs> thank you <laughs> got it okay all right, so let's talk about minis for a second um, with Morgan, and then I might jump in talking about the audition form. At Perfect. Okay. Thanks, Kristen. Okay, so for casting, um, we're doing Peter Pan, but a mini version, as Kristen mentioned. So we'll be casting. Every child will have at least one speaking line. Um, now, if your child is really anti-speaking, we can work with that. But I did have a couple kids that said they didn't want speaking lines, and then when it came to performances, they were so sad they didn't have speaking lines. So I'd rather just have them working towards that as the goal before performance. And if it doesn't work out, you know, I'll modify with them. I'm pretty, pretty flexible there. Um, and then another note on casting. Um, roles are just going to be decided. The roles are just people to us. So for example, we might have a hook that's played by a girl and a Peter Pan by a boy or vice versa. It's not lost boys. It's lost kids. Um, yeah. so to so have your child get ready for whatever roles they're interested in and let us know. Um, that being said, <clears throat> we're going to send out an email once, as Kristen mentioned, once you've enrolled, you'll get an email with some audition sides that they can read. Um, they don't need to be memorized. You'll just film them reading. They can read one or two characters. So they'll be, for example, it'll have Hook with two lines on it, or Peter Pan with two lines, Wendy with two lines. So they can just read it or they can memorize it, whichever you prefer. They can do one or two characters um, and just film it and then you'll upload that. And Kristen's gonna talk a little bit more about how you upload those videos. And then I'd also like them to sing a little song for me, which will also be sent in the audition materials. They can either sing along with the person singing or they can do a cappella. I'll send you both options. Um, and Meaning those, without the person singing. Oh, yes. Not a cappella. Not a cappella. Some without the, they can sing with the music, but without the voice singing with them. Either yeah, option. Yeah, in theater great. lingo, we call it a minus track. Minus track, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you know theater lingo. Oh, it's okay. You totally do. I think you're trying to. <laughs> ah, we are going to have a good time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, and all of these will be due on the 25th of this month. So that is the Tuesday before our first rehearsal in person, which is the 26th. So if you can get that into me the 25th, that will give me an idea of where I'm headed with casting. And then when I meet your kids and hang out with them that first day, we'll do get to know yous. I can see their personalities around the other kids by the end of rehearsal. And, and then I'll make some casting decisions and we'll start with our lines the following week. Um, next, week on the 26th we will start with music and dance so they'll still have things they're working on um for communication we'll be doing everything through email and facebook but i'm also going to provide all of you with my phone number i'm not the best at facebook so if you message me there you might just want to message me through a text as well i'm really good at checking my emails and i really try to stay up with my facebook when i'm teaching this course because i know that's how some people communicate but i am really up to date on my texting so, so the facebook group page that you've been linked to to be able to watch this um video is the group um and it is a private group so all the videos and pictures and things actually have been from previous shows so if you'll just scroll down you can see the cute pictures of other shows and you're a 
member of it already. So some of you who were in um, Descendants, this is the same group. We just we just changed the show. Um, and then I will say about Facebook, what's fun about that is that um, you can comment and other families can respond. Um, it's kind of a way to uh, build a little bit of a community. And also we share a lot of photos there. So um, people just upload their cute photos that they took um, and it's really fun around um, around showtime. So go ahead and um, if you're not a Facebook user, just create an account and just do the notifications for this group. You don't even need to friend anybody or anything like that. Just this is a fun platform for us to be able to use that. But Morgan uses emails and texting and things like that. So she um, does a lot of communicating in a lot of different ways. Hopefully all three places will have that kind of communication if it's needed. Yeah. And like she's saying, um, whenever I send an email out, I always go and copy and paste it and post it in Facebook too. So you'll have it in both locations, but I'm not probably going to text that because it'll be, yeah, you know, paragraphs yeah. is too much. I will say about texting, sorry, I just forgot. No. Make sure that you opt in to texting um, in your... Um, in your account. It's really important. We don't use it for advertising. What we use it for are emergencies. So like if the power goes out in the building or we have a snow day, I'm sure we're past the snow thing, but you know, if something happens that we need you to don't know right now, we'll do a mass text. So make sure to opt into the texting. Like I said, there have been like two, maybe, I don't know, we're just really careful with what we text. It's more emergency things or like I don't know if something has gone up on the website that you really need to know or something like that. So um, texting or if there's a change in rehearsal for any reason, like if every teacher is out sick and we really need to cancel that, we will text as well as email and just to make sure that you get um, that information. Awesome. Thank you, Kristen. And then also with communication, we use Google Drive. So if you're not super familiar, it's actually quite simple. It's like if I were, let's say that I uploaded all of the audition materials into a folder. It's like I'm sending you that folder. You can go in, you can click on the folder and then see, here's the song my kid can learn. Here's the little sides. What I'll be adding to that throughout rehearsals is choreography videos. The script will get uploaded to that. The cast will be uploaded to that, the important dates. So everything will be sent through there or it will be accessible to you always through Google Drive. And I'll try to always include it anytime I send you an email, just the link so that you can go to your most recent email from me and see that. I'll star it on our Facebook group so that it'll be one of the top posts always. So you just have quick access if your kid's like wanting to listen to the songs, wanting to... You're going to hear the songs a lot over the next semester. So Yeah, just if they're stuck in your head, that. then you are doing it right. That's right. It's and funny. you can watch Mary Martin's version of this somewhere, too. Oh, I yeah, it there's like daughter. the 50s. It's beautiful. It's really... Anyway. She's an incredible actress. Actually, really fun because I'm directing Sound and Music right now. And she oh, originated yeah. that role on Broadway, too. So I love watching her because she's just incredible. Um, and it's it's so delightful. Mm -hmm. Um so definitely go watch that with your kids if you want. That's the version we're doing, not the Disney version, which they're welcome to watch as well on Disney+. Yeah. Plus. But um, that's the more than one we'll be doing. That's where our songs are coming from. And it is a delight. Mary Martin uh, in Peter Pan. Um, but yes, yeah, so we'll I'll upload everything through the Google Drive there. Um, costume needs. So Kristen mentioned this. I would love all of the kids to have jazz shoes. You can get those at Walmart for like $5. They're just black slip-ons. They can be little ballet flats or little jazz shoes, or you can go to a dance store and get them official jazz shoes. You can get them on Amazon, very accessible, but just black ballet flats or little black jazz shoes. Mm -hmm. um, and then as she mentioned, if they bring those to class, it really helps them get in the zone. Um, and jazz shoes, literally, if you Google jazz shoes, you'll see the picture of it. I'm going to add a picture to the Facebook page, just like it's a picture link to look, probably to Amazon or something, but you don't have to buy them there. Just to I just want to like. show you what they look like. Um, if you have nude ones, they come in black and nude. If you have nude, we're, we're okay with that too. It, yes. We just want it to be a light shoe. Um, but, and our kids, uh, productions, they're required to have jazz shoes as well. So get in that habit of the jazz shoes. I'd probably, if you have a question, I'd probably prefer black, but it does yeah. not matter. Yeah. Either one's fine for us. Mm -hmm. Um, and then again with costumes, we would like all of the kids to arrive in their biker shorts and tank tops. And those can be black, nude, or white, but I just want them all to be covered. 
so that when we're back in the changing room, it's very conservative and covered. We may, I've been talking with our costumer, we may end up sending the costumes home so you can have your child arrive in their costume, hair done if you want. Um, that's still up for debate and it will probably depend exactly how costumes play out. So just be aware that that might change. But for now, we'll just assume that the costumes are going to be here and your child will arrive in their jazz shoes with their biker shorts and a tank top on. And saying that, it's really important, even if you're getting dressed at home in that, to have those base um, under clothing. It's just really important to have them because it's a barrier between um, the person and the costume. So it just it just helps. Like so, if we do three shows in a row, and and your child is in three of those shows, you don't have to launder it in between. It really is fine. But without that, it's anyway. So. Sometimes costumes can be itchy, uncomfortable. Yes. Sometimes they're shorter or longer. Just having that, it's, or if they do a high kick or if they fall down on the stage and their legs go up, which my daughters do at home all the time. I don't know how they can't get their legs know. down. but I know. So then they're just covered. It's just safety and, and comfort. And it's required, comfort. again, like these are the minis. We're trying to teach them what's required and, and we do in kids and especially youth. And if I'm in a production, I'm bringing underclothing and Me spanks too. and, and tank tops and things like that so that I have a barrier between um, myself and the costume. Absolutely. So it's a thing we do in theater. Perfect. Thank you, Kristen. Um, are you going to talk volunteers? Should I skip that yes. real fast? Okay. Let me skip. just, the last thing I have is snacks. We decided um, this this semester to try something new with snacks where we're actually going to provide them. A couple of reasons for that. There were some messy snacks coming and also lots of sugary snacks, which the kids loved. But I, as the teacher, didn't love as much. So let me tell you what we're going to be providing. Your kids can pick a couple of these every single time. Um, we're going to be providing baby carrots, apple slices, turkey pieces. So either like deli deli slices of turkey or I'll get like a thick turkey and cut it up into pieces, um, cheese sticks and goldfish packs. So like they're little individual, I'm guessing most of the kids are going to want a goldfish pack. So then hopefully they'll pick something either with protein or a fruit or a, or the carrots or veggie. Um, if you have any allergies or those things aren't working, um, just let me know. Um, again, I'm going to send my, my cell phone through text messaging, or if you want to send your kid with a snack because of allergies, that's also fine too. But, um, let's just talk beforehand so we can mm -hmm. plan that and I can help facilitate if it needs to be refrigerated, any of those things. Um, but I think that's my last. Yeah. So thing. you can also make sure that they've eaten something between school and, and here. And then the snack is just meant to be kind of a little bit of a downtime and that they're there socializing so, and socializing. Other. So having us have that really controls the way that cleanup happens and a lot of things. So we are really excited to provide that uh, for you will have them sanitized before and then they'll eat and then they'll it just helps us out so um, if you have any issues with needing to bring snacks from home then again talk to Morgan before we want to make sure that the kids all have kind of the same thing so no one's feeling like well so and so is eating Oreos and I'm eating carrot sticks so yes even though yeah because we know what they would choose <laughs> choose Oreos. Choose Oreos. Always. <laughs> Every day. Okay. So that's a, that's a bit of a change if you need anything. And again, the water bottle is going to be really helpful with that. And then the last things I have Kristen's going to discuss are the audition forms and volunteers. Okay. So, um, we, this is how you're going to, um, submit your audition. Um, when you receive your enrollment email, it will have the following things on it. It'll have a link to your calendar. Okay. Also inside the audition form, it'll have a link to the calendar so you can look at it to see when rehearsals are and when performances are so you can give us a really good idea about what your conflicts are. So um, refer to that um, while, you're, while you're doing that. It'll have a link to the audition for, uh, folder, the materials. So like she said, it'll have the songs in it and the cute little words that they're going to say and everything. So you'll have that link in that email as well. Um, and then um, it'll have the Facebook link just in case um, you forgot the group link or something. It'll have that there. And again, click to join the Facebook page because it's a private page. And then um, in in the audition form, it, you will get to choose your, um, your uh, cuties 
uh, t-shirt size because everyone is getting a t-shirt from the Zig. So you'll have a show shirt provided. We want you to wear it everywhere. So excited um, that you're in Peter Pan. So um, you'll have a drop down menu of which um, sizes to choose and a size chart. Make sure to check the size chart because um, they sometimes don't run the same as what you buy in the store. Um, and then um, after you list your conflicts, and again, some of these fields, we try to tailor it to the minis program, but some of these fields might not super apply. And so um, just move through. So if your child has no experience in any of this, just put none. <laughs> you do not have to um, put that out there. So we just sometimes like to know if they've had a little dance class or something like that. That's helpful. Um, okay. So when we get down to um, our committees, we're excited for these. Um, your committees are going to be, um, it'll have the little blurb next to it about what's required for the committees. We'd like everyone to sign up for a committee and then also choose an alternate. Um, volunteerism is what makes theaters run. We're really excited. I mean, they're volunteer um, positions literally in every theater that I've ever known about. And we're really excited to have you participate in, um, in a very small way, um, to this production. It's also super fun because then you're involved in the, um, in what your child's doing. So, um, and then I don't think we said this about rehearsals with rehearsals. You can bring your child in and drop them off for that hour and a half. You do not need to stay. You can stay. We have an open door policy at the theater for their, our youth programs. Literally, you can um, be at every second of rehearsal um, and uh, and watch. And we are just fine with that. Um, and our windows are awesome for that yes, because you they can won't sit outside. see you as much, but mm -hmm. you can see them. So yeah. they're, you're not going to, they're not going to be as distracted. Like my mom's there. I need to go talk to her because they won't notice really. Yeah. That you're there. You can also you wait can downstairs in the lobby. There's Walmart is close. You can go shopping. Yeah, okay. So, um, so that's, uh, I forgot to let you know about that. Our committees are very, like I said, going to be very self-explanatory. We do have a costume committee We and, um, that will be run by our head costumer and, um, we will work at whatever level that you're excited to work at. So if you do so, that's great. If you just glue gun or you're happy to cut out things, um, let us know and the customer will work with you. Um, and so you can choose that costume committee. Um, we do need a person from the costume committee at each performance. Um, and uh, so it'll show like what's required. So, and we'll have a sign up for that so that you can plan um, to be at the per performance. We do want one makeup person. There's a makeup and wig committee. We do need one makeup person. Um, your children will do their makeup um, at home but then there might be some things to just add to that, um, that we'll have one makeup person who knows what to do um, there backstage before the show. Okay? It won't be very much, but like no. um, we want a mustache on hook, whoever's cast is hook, yeah. and fun things like that. Yeah. Um, and then we will just need a couple of pre-show helpers um, and we'll tell how many. Um, so that that's why that is a committee. It's just a pre-show helper committee. Um, and that'll be there. And then we're excited to offer, we're going to have a souvenir program. And so we'll have a parent committee just working on that. That is literally come in and take some cute pictures and upload that into, um, into our drive folder. And then, um, and then also our cast party. So we'll have a cast party afterwards and you can sign up for that committee to help with the cast party. So um, it's a little bit different than our older group. If you have kids in the older group, there's um, not as many things that are needed. Um, and that brings me to, oh, uh, also on this audition form, you will need a picture that is going to go on our show poster. So make sure it's a cute picture and not of when they're three right? <laughs> Make sure it's current. And, um, so take a picture before, um, so that you have something cute. It, like I said, it's going to go on our show poster and into our souvenir, um, program, but it doesn't need to be a professional headshot. Okay. Even though it says headshot. Okay. Also, there's a little blurb that just says why I love theater is the writing prompt. It's 300 characters, but it's the little thing that'll go next to their name in the souvenir program. Okay. So that is audition form number one. It's just Peter Pan Minnie's audition form. 
The second one is going to be the audition form that you upload your videos into, okay? It's very simple. It's first and last name, the show they're in, an email, and then you upload the videos, and then you submit that and send it in, okay? Um, they ha There's four possible videos, so if they wanted to do two little songs or two little, you know, um, that's fine. But what Morgan says applies. So they just need to do one of each, um, and upload those videos. The video does have a size limit. So go ahead and film them on a smaller size. So don't do an HD video for, for this thing. It's like 250 mega mags or something. Uh, so, um, but some people have filmed it in such high quality that um, when they go to upload it, it's crazy. There are sites on, uh, there are quick little Google sites that you can compress your videos down and send those in. Um, but please send it, try so hard. And we know tech is hard for some people. So, Maybe. and right. So <laughs> please send it through this audition form. We're currently with, with minis, we're auditioning five shows right now and um, with homeschool and everything, and we do not want to lose it. Also, when you take the video, please put your child's first and last name as the file name for the video. Then when you upload it, and if we've downloaded it and put it somewhere else, and we're, we won't lose it. So, um, and also you don't need, you won't need, a, we will contact you if we don't get something from you. So just when you submit it, just trust that has gone to where it's supposed to go. If not, um, we will contact you. So um, you don't need to send Morgan a text and say, hey, did you get my daughter's you know, form? Just assume that you did, we did, and then we will contact you if there's any problem. Or if we can't hear it, or it wasn't a great, you know, she, we want to see your child and we want to see your child's best. So um, I've gone back to um, actors before and said, okay, that sound quality was not great. Can you redo it? Or, you know, we'll work with someone about, um, because we want to hear their, hear their best. Okay. So that's our audition form. So there are two auditions forms you need to send in. One is that general one where you pick the t-shirt sizes and that kind of thing and have a headshot, um, and choose your conflicts and all of that. And then the second one is with your video, um, auditions. Okay. So, um, and then remember to, um, remember to click which, um, day of the week you would prefer as far as, um, as far as the, uh, rehearsals. This is only if we have a, a large cast that we really feel like we should split them into two days. Um, so, and we will do that as we have enrollment and have final numbers for enrollment and it won't, it won't have any bearings on casting. So, um, and we'll come back to you. So if we want your child to play hook and you've preferred a Wednesday, um, but there's one that can't, we'll just come back to you and we'll, we'll, we'll discuss, work we'll work it out. Okay. So we're really excited. Um, for this, if you have any other questions, if we have just missed something and you have some questions, comment below on the um, in this in this post so that we know where we're looking. And then, obviously, um, as you get details, um, as you get your director's details, then you can ask her along the process. Um, but yeah, we're excited to see your minis, and I think we've covered everything that we feel that we need to cover. Um, and thank you again for being flexible. So we'll upload this to YouTube. You can share this YouTube link um, out to your friends if they were, um, if they missed it or anything, just let them know, but make sure that they know to come back to the Facebook page so that um, they can join in uh, to that community and, um, and yeah, come into the private page. Okay. Yes. I'm putting in auditions. I'm getting that set up right now. So you'll have those and you can have your child start working on them. That'll be, be so really fun. fun. And they don't need to be professional. Just know we no. love them and they're so cute. They can um, stand and read them, whatever. Just yes. let me see their cute little faces. Yeah. And um, we hope that they'll, you know, at home, that they'll really be able to um, act and it'll be really fun. Okay. Thank you so much again. And we're at the end of our video. And if you made it this far, thank you so much. <laughs> Hopefully you listen to that on, like I said, double speed in your car with a nice drink or something. <laughs> Don't drink in, uh, sorry, not drinking. <laughs> sorry. I meant like one of these or. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
so final thought don't drink and drive ever um stay safe oh uh, sorry if you haven't gotten to here that's fine you should have stopped um with co- so much COVID around if your child is st- sick you're just gonna let morgan know and say they've got a sniffly nose remember those are actually the problems with this version of COVID, right? Sniffly nose and a little sore throat. So make sure um, make sure you, you don't need to come to rehearsal on that time. But let Morgan know if you can't make it um, because you're ill. So hopefully we'll be through that, um, this nastiness really soon. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, we love you. Thanks for coming to the Zig and welcome. Welcome to the minis. Bye. Bye.